You may have heard of 5G. It's the fifth generation of cellular technology that promises enhanced speeds, responsiveness, and coverage of wireless networks. Experts say 5G is expected to revolutionize the workplace and enhance consumer experiences. Tonight, web producer Ivan Herrera helps us understand 5G. <laughs> Tonight, we're talking about 5G, but to understand that technology, we have to go back, way back. You may or may not have had a phone that a lot of us carried around in a briefcase, right? That was 1G. It was the first generation of mobile connectivity, analog voice. 2G was digital voice. It was simple data um, that we were being able to push. The beginning of the text message, if you will. Uh, it's a platform that like the old Blackberries ran off of. And then there was 3G, which is where we saw the entrance of the iPhone, and we were actually able to surf the web on our phones. When we really started to see speeds ramp up is with 4G, which was a faster mobile broadband. And we started to see companies like Uber and Lyft become a reality with this new technology. But what about 5G, and how is it going to change the mobile landscape? When the 5G network is deployed, we're going to see the capacity for all of that data improve so that latency will be a thing of the past. Reliability will be a thing of the past. Latency is basically the response time it takes for a request to travel from the sender to the receiver and for the receiver to process that request. So think of it uh, with 3G, the latencies were about 60 thousandths of a second, uh, 60 milliseconds. 4G was about 50 milliseconds. With uh, 5G, it's going to be less than one millisecond. Wow, that's crazy fast. But what exactly will we be able to do with this technology? Autonomous vehicles are expected to be the data giant of the future. How much they will process at any given moment to be sure that they're operating safely on our roads will be important. And 5G is going to be an important backbone to make that happen. That includes things like drone deliveries, things of the future that we're just now starting to see come to market. 5G isn't going to get here overnight, and it's going to take a lot of work and money for the technology to reach the whole nation. But major wireless carriers are already working to offer the technology to their customers. I would suspect in earnest uh, it will take until 2023 for really a widespread um, a deployment of 5G beyond, again, these major cities or pilot sites that these companies have, uh, have initially uh, uh, focused on. It's going to take cooperation from cities to deploy small cells to bring that connectivity closer to your devices. They can be installed in things like street lamps or street posts, but there's a problem with that. Some street lamps have historic designations and, and the companies have to work very closely with the cities to ensure that those are delicately handled and that um, they conform and that they're done the right way for those communities. While telecom companies work to establish 5G in the U.S., cities are preparing for the possibilities this technology will be able to achieve. In Texas, we hear a lot of our cities talk about being smart cities. I'm sure you guys hear the same thing in San Antonio. 5G will be the backbone of a smart city. I think that we'll see soon in the future that a smart city designation is really not a reality without a full 5G deployment. We have lots more information on 5G on our website. Just head to ksat.com forward slash news at nine. Helping you understand 5G for the nine, Ivan Herrera.